marking their territory near the relics of a former whaling station. Abandoned, like the Chilean and British bases, which were here on Deception Island, before volcanic eruptions in the late 1960s chased them away, leaving Whaler's Bay to its natural inhabitants, mostly. What happens in Antarctica doesn't stay in Antarctica. Tom James is the chief scientist of an all-Canadian expedition to Antarctica. He's studying sea level rise. The Antarctic ice sheet contains enormous amounts of fresh water. And as the ice sheet um, thins and melts in places, calves at faster rates, uh, that's going to affect global sea level change. Antarctica's glaciers are receding and sea ice reached near record lows last month. Both contribute to rising global sea levels at an increasing rate. The planet is changing extremely quickly and so what we see in the Canadian Arctic is also mirrored in Antarctica. And by engaging in Antarctica, we not only learn about uh, uh, the other pole, as it were, but we also engage with the very large number of nations that are doing Antarctic research. This is where they used to process all the whale blubber, one of the very few examples of a commercial settlement here on the continent. Under the Antarctic Treaty, it wouldn't be allowed today. But the island is still changing, with luxury ships bringing thousands of tourists. James is collecting samples for a fellow scientist who wants to measure how ship traffic may be impacting such a remote place. What we're doing is adding to that body of knowledge of how are contaminants dispersing globally, um, how are glaciers retreating, and how is that retreat of glaciers and overall climate warming changing the environment. A hundred years ago, whalers perished on this frozen island. Now data from here will help forecast our climates next century. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Deception Island, Antarctica.